okay, even according to uh, just look at Jesus, you cannot find no, anyone no, 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 like no. him. It is he important without sin. Everyone, Muhammad is sinful. Everyone is sinful. Go, uh, Jesus is just, um, he try was born to... without a uh, from God, by God's intervention. Nobody is born by God's If you are sinless, does it make you God? He made a if you, if you are sinless, and he the I can I can see that you're going into several arguments so now. It, 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 what, just one, slow down. Just, you need to be blind, not to No, no, just slow down. You'll be surprised every single thing you say. If Karan said that God uh, is, uh, Jesus is God and you don't believe it. Do you want me to respond to what you just said? Because I know people who uh, read Karan would you, properly. Would you, would you like me to reply to what you just said? Because at least, at least hear the response. I see just like, uh, at least hear the response. So, we believe angels don't sin. It doesn't make them God. There will be hundreds and millions and zillions of gods there. Because there are many, many, many angels. They don't sin. So in our understanding, you would say they're all gods. But of course they're not. When a child is born, born sinless. It doesn't make them God. So, can I, can I, can I make you, my do, point? Do you need to learn a child to uh, do the wrong thing? You don't need. He has a sinful nature. There's a difference child. between having a sin. Are you a terrorist? I have a child. No, are you a terrorist? Uh, every person who is born has sin no. in their nature. I want to make a point. Are you a terrorist that we can take you there and the MI5 can take you and, and, and put you behind bars and execute you? Are you a terrorist? No, I'm not. Are you? I'm not. Right. So you can't say every person is a terrorist or a sinner. You can only say there's a potential to do terrify and do commit terror. Look, can I, can I finish my point, please? What you are saying is people have the potentiality to commit sin, commit terror, commit all these wrongdoings. Until they have done that, you cannot call them a sinner, you cannot call them a terrorist, you cannot call them a murderer. You cannot call him a murderer if he hasn't committed any murder. So you cannot call someone a sinner unless they have done a sin. A baby of one minute old. But they got please, sinful nature. Please, 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 please. When a baby is when a baby is just born, one second of birth, is that baby a sinner? He is not a sinful That's nature. What he, he is not sinner. That's what I must thank you. Right. Good, so you've answered, so you've answered. Children who die in so you've answered. Early, they go to heaven because they still haven't sinned. But they thought sinful. But, but you have answered though. The baby is not a sinner, but has a sinful nature. Right, good. So just because someone has a sinful nature doesn't mean that they are sinners. So let's go back to Jesus Christ. When he went to the people, the people were deceived, according to you, to think that he was a prophet of God, a mighty messenger of God, a miracle worker. Because Jesus deceived them to think that he was a prophet, that he was a messenger who was a miracle worker. Instead of saying, I'm God on earth. Imagine now, ima I was the king of England, for example, but I didn't tell you. You would say, oh, this, no, you should have told me that. Look, can I, 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 need to, I need to finish my point though. Exactly why I'm God. I'll tell you why. No. I will tell you why he needs to. Just so. I'm Russian. I can say you. I'm a princess of Russia. You do you believe me? I would. No problem with that. But if you said you are God, I would not believe you. Do you know why? All, all dynasty of Russian uh, in empress were completely eliminated by Russia. Sure. So, yeah, but yeah, but you can be de a, de a dethroned princess. But let me. To that I'm but, a but allow me to tell you why why God needs to tell us that He is God, worthy of our worship. Imagine. No, no, no. It's not. No, no. Please, listen. It's, it's very important. It's very important. If God did not tell us from the very beginning that He is our God and He requires... He said oh, that I'm 
Can I, can I, can I, can I, sir? Can I, can I make a point? No, I am not in this meeting. Why? Because I'm making sense? Oh, because it's like circling. What have I circled? Tell me. What have I said with the circle? I'm telling you that Isaiah told that the sun is given to you. What did Isaiah say? Authority on the pond, his shoulders. Okay. And? His, his name is God Eternal. God Eternal. His name is a Prince of uh, Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. He is God Almighty. It's Isaiah said. And you said, it's not. He just not. Did you ask me how I understand this verse? You, you, you can understand as you want. No, no, not as I want. If, if, not as I want. If the prophecy says he is God eternal. Can I? Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Uh, God. Yeah. But just, the point no, no. Is, because you brought, you see, if you bring something, at least try to hear the response. Because there might be a very cogent, sensible response to all of this. This Isaiah, when he said that, did the Jewish people think that there will be someone like that will be also God? Never. Because it is their book and they said that this doesn't refer to a God on earth. Because the person it's referred to, a son will be born, he shall be called the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the government will be on his shoulders, the everlasting Father. Is Jesus the son or the father? Jesus, one being in three persons. No. You need to be consistent in what you bring. The Isaiah passage says, he shall be called. So, you see. Can I finish my point? No. Can I finish my point? No. Can I finish my point? And then you can have your response. Just like I let you speak, make a point, I'm responding. So in, in, in counter response to what you said, in Isaiah it said, he shall be called. Jesus was not called by anyone everlasting father because in Christian theology, he's not the everlasting father. He's the son. So it cannot refer to Jesus. He's God, so he's no, no. everlasting father as well. No, he's not. In your belief, there is everlasting father and there is the son, right? Jesus is not the everlasting father. So you cannot make that heresy, this heretical mistake, you will be totally disowned by your church, whatever church you go to, right? If you ever go to a church and you say that, they will say that you're not even a Christian. My point is, this Isaiah passage does not make anyone who is God, because for them, even a judge can be called God. Even a judge can have the government on their shoulders. So it doesn't mean the passage refers to an individual who is going to be worshipped as God on earth. So now let's return back again to what people said. No, no, and I, I, want to, I want to go back to the reason why... About Isaiah. Please, Isaiah, I've already explained. No, it doesn't... Let me now. Okay, Hope. tell me. It says, son is given to you. Mm -hmm. The same son is eternal God. How can it be? Son given to you and he's eternal God. How can it be? It's consistent. And you say it's let me, inconsistent. Let me, no, it doesn't say eternal God. Eternal God, it says. <laughs> it says mighty God, El Gibor. Mighty God, right? Mighty God. For them, for them, a mighty God can also be a title of ordinary human beings. Like in Psalms 82, verse 6, where God is saying, You are Elohim, sons of the Most High. How can it be son at the same time? Eternal God. You're just saying eternal. Can you show me the passage where it says eternal God? Then it will become clear. Yeah. While you're finding it, Jesus himself said, there is only one true God. And he didn't say that was him. Do you know, according to Jesus, who that one, one true God is? If God wants to be three persons in one? No, 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 no. Jesus Why identified... No? no, what I'm saying is, after all this discussion we are having, Jesus actually settled that dispute. Jesus said who the one true God is. Do you know? Jesus himself identified. Let's find Isaiah. And we'll come back to 
Jesus, what he said about this one true God. Oh, what the remaining translation I just chose? Okay, let's see your translation. Child is born, son is given, government is on his shoulders, his name is to be called the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. How son can be mighty God? Okay, stop. And and stop, let's, stop. Let me finish. You don't give me a time. What do you think How son can be called everlasting father? Sure. Keep it open. Keep it open. So now you got yourself corrected because you the passage that you read said mighty God, Prince of Peace, everlasting father, the government on your shoulders. Just as I just as I said. So I quoted your Bible more accurately than you are misquoting the text. But if the son is given to One you... One second. You said eternal God, which it doesn't. Of the son. Wait. Can I... Son, everlasting father. Please. Come. Remember, remember, you, you argued with me. Do you remember? It says eternal God, which it doesn't. It doesn't say eternal God. So I corrected you. And you have seen it yourself. You read it yourself. And all of the people have heard. It doesn't say eternal God. It talks about everlasting father, which Jesus is never the everlasting father in any Christian theology. No, everlasting, Wait. it means eternal. His name will be, name. Who called Jesus everlasting father? No one. No one today calls him everlasting father either. So, Jesus settled the dispute who he was. He said, you should know that the, you should know that the eternal, the, the, uh, the only true God is the Father. Did you know that? In John 17, 3, do you know? As I said you before. Excuse me. Jesus can I can I settle the dispute between no, you and me? Because you're trying to twist it. I'm not and twisting I'm it. Not you are twisting it, and I showed you that you did the twisting, I, I and said, you were you, you, you were corrected. I said so, you before. When Sorry. Jesus came on earth Excuse me. and he acted on earth as a human being. What did he say who the true God is? So in this case, he needed to submit to Father. He needed to pray to Father. That's not what he I'm asking. To get help from angels. That's not what I'm asking though. I am yes, saying, according because, to Jesus, who is the only true God? Let me ask you. Who is the only true God according to you? The only true God, not just God, are, not true. Twisting, uh, I don't want to twist. I'm going to be very specific, very specific. Okay. According to you, according who is the only true God? I just showed you, Sam given of us. He's the eternal God. And you said it's not. Okay. Just you just read it yourself. It doesn't say eternal God. And he went back again. Everlasting Father. No, his name will be called Everlasting Father. If my name is called Everlasting Father, does that make me God? Everlasting. In, uh, wait, wait. In if Bible, my name is called Everlasting Father. In Bible, every name had meaning. Every name of God had uh, um, revealed his nature. And it's not just... No, if, if, if my name meaning. is called Everlasting Father, would that make me God? If he said his name, Everlasting Father. No, if my he, name was Everlasting Father, would that make you God? It's not our argument. He said, I'm Everlasting Father. He didn't say he that. Jesus never identified it, himself I, as the Everlasting Father. Isaiah said, about Isaiah said someone's name will be, right? So my question to you again is, to settle the dispute, let's see what Jesus Christ says who God is. According to your understanding, who is the only true God? Only true God. Not just God, not just true God, but the only true God. I'm praying to a true God who created. Who is who is the who is the only true God that you're praying to? Who created the whole universe? Who created everything? Who is he? Who is he? Who is who is he? True God? No, who is he? Is he the Holy Spirit? I don't. 
just in, don't interrupt my prayer. But I don't want you to pray. I want, I want you to answer my question rather than pray. Because your prayer is not going to help you answer the question. To help us to have a revelation and to give us clarity. I don't want to be deceived. You are deceived. You don't want to be deceived. But you are deceived though. I asked you a question no, to settle the dispute according to, according to Jesus Christ who settled our dispute. Who is the only true God according to Jesus Christ? And I asked God to reveal himself to us in dreams, to come in visions. So you don't want to listen to Jesus, what he said? He, she's not interested in what Jesus says, what because, Jesus said. You're interested in visions. We want to be in your presence in heaven. We don't want to go to hell. And who will be, who will be God in heaven? And uh, because of it, everyone... Um, who will be God in heaven? Who will be in God in heaven? And uh, God, you suddenly, know, suddenly, so just you, you are not engaging clarity. anymore. Come to us, okay. reveal yourself, show up to everyone who is here. So according to Jesus Christ, According to Jesus Christ, brother, brother, excuse me. According to, according to, can I teach you something now? So now she's preaching. This is when the truth comes, this is the mode that we see Christians engage in. Because when you cannot respond, right? So according to Jesus Christ, let me let me help you. Let me remove your confusion. Let me tell you the truth according to Jesus. I'm born again. My name is written in the heaven. And according to the Bible, true God? Excuse me. I'm sitting in the. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? In the. What's your name? Heavenly place. What is your name? Jirina. Hmm? And I will write Jirina. Jirina? Yes. Jirina. So, and who I, is the uh, only true God? And Shall I tell you? God, and my God is the God of Jesus. I have conviction in my heart that I'm already yeah. saved. Suddenly, why are you not listening to my question and answering it? She shield me not on one no. occasion. Why are you suddenly become like a robot and not listening and answering she my question? Why have you suddenly become a preacher? My son had depression and I prayed and so God answered we all my have prayers. We are, not talking about that. are you depressed now? And he because free from the no, no, are, you, are you depressed now? Because the truth has come to you. I saw Jesus said, Jesus said the only true God is the one who call, he calls himself the Father. What does mean God? Islam. You know what? I'm gonna go. Jirina. Jirina, I'm going to I'm going to go. Brother, brother. Uh, let's not have several discussions because as you can see, so instead of engaging with me, the question I ask, which settles the dispute, she is now engaging with everyone else apart from me. So so Jirina, Jirina. Don't uh, take part in uh, fruitless discussion. Fruitless discussion. In the day of judgment, I will be a witness against you. Okay. That I demonstrated that even from the testimony of Jesus Christ, the only true God is his God. The one who says, worship him only. Not Jesus Christ being the God, only true God. Jesus Christ is the one who's sent by the only true God. Just as I started with you in my discussion from the very beginning, I said Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus was indeed a Muslim who worshipped God. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell down on his face, his forehead on the ground, he worshipped God. Does he talk to you? Hmm? Does he talk to you? Does Jesus, can you does hear Jesus, your God voice? listen. Does he guide you? Yes, God guides me. 